To some breaking news now, and two Reuters journalists who were jailed in Myanmar have been released as part of a larger amnesty. They were convicted in December in a case that drew international condemnation. They were sentenced to seven years in prison over their investigation into Myanmar's Rohingya crisis. Live now to Wayne Hay in Bangkok. So bring us up to speed with what happened. Yes, Sammy, well, uh, first of all, uh, prisoner uh, amnesties at this time of the year issued by the president himself are not unusual. They happen around this time, usually to mark the uh, New Year celebrations. We had a very large one last month. More than 9,000 people were freed as part of this uh, amnesty. There was hope that Wa Lone and Cho So U, the two Reuters journalists, as, as you say, were arrested in December uh, 2017, would be among that group. They were not. Then we heard Heard that there would be another uh, amnesty happening uh, this morning on uh, Tuesday morning, uh, numbering more than 6,000. Again, hopes were raised that they would be among uh, the more than 6,000 to be released. And uh, then just in the last few moments, we uh, heard uh, reports that, in fact, they were walking free from Insane Prison, which is located in uh, Yangon, just on the outskirts of Yangon, the largest city in Myanmar. So at last, these two Reuters journalists have been uh, freed after spending 17 months in jail on uh, charges of violating this colonial era State Secrets Act after they were arrested in December 2017, uh, 2017 for investigating a massacre of Rohingya Muslims in the west of the country. The trial itself uh, was a farce, it has to be said. There was very little evidence, if any, presented by the prosecution. Uh, they appealed twice, once to the High Court in Yangon and then more, uh, more recently to the Supreme Court in the capital, Napierdor. Both of those courts threw the, case, uh, the appeal out. There was a, an opportunity for them, according to their lawyers, to appeal again to the Supreme Court, but they said that they had lost faith in the judicial system in Myanmar, but they hadn't lost hope that they would be freed. They said that they would, instead of going through the court process again, rely on the possibility, the hope that they would be freed in some sort of uh, prisoner amnesty or by seeking a pardon. So they have been freed in an amnesty. So Wa Lone and Chor So U have walked free from prison in Myanmar. Now that's obviously good news, but just put it into context for us in terms of the situation that journalists continue to face there, as well as the story they were covering, the Rohingya Muslims. Yes, well, obviously, uh, the Rohingya story in the west of the country, in Rakhine State, has seen hundreds of thousands of Rohingya flee the country to uh, neighboring Bangladesh because they face uh, persecution, uh, violence, murder, rape, other forms of abuse at the hands of the security forces uh, in uh, Myanmar. This has been a story that has been uh, at the forefront of uh, this country for uh, many years now, and a lot of pressure has come on the state councillor, Aung San Suu Kyi, who is effectively the leader of the country, someone who once championed uh, democracy for freedom of speech, human rights in that country to really do something and she has failed to act on that story. So these two were investigating the story, investigating one particular massacre of uh, Rohingya in uh, Rakhine State when they were arrested uh, in Yangon. They said that they were framed, that they were set up, that these uh, secret documents that they were allegedly in possession of were given to them by the police just moments before they were arrested. And in fact, a policeman who was at the scene when they were arrested testified uh, to that extent. He said that they uh, were framed, that, that, that he was told by his superiors that they uh, should be framed, the, this pair, for what they were investigating. Again, the pressure came on Aung San Suu Kyi to do something about this, to intervene. Uh, as she refused. She said that they were not arrested for being journalists, that they were arrested for breaking the law. So really, that is pretty much all she has said throughout the course uh, of this case. But uh, as you point out, the, uh, this pair are not alone. There are other journalists in the country facing similar accusations going through the court system, not just uh, for the State Secrets Act, but also for criminal def defamation, uh, which carries a jail sentence in Myanmar. So there are huge problems facing uh, this government, this country, uh, as it emerges from more than 50 years of military rule. All right. Thanks so much. Wayne Hay there.